Hello everyone. Are you passionate about electronics? Then it's time to know the trending field of electronics VLSI. Do you know what? If you want to manufacture a computer, a mobile, a laptop or a automobile, we require integrated circuits. Integrated circuit in short form it is IC. Without this ICs we cannot manufacture a automobile that is car we cannot manufacture a computer we cannot manufacture a laptop due to this pandemic now the world is suffering from shortage of chips so because of that all these manufacturing companies are having lot of trouble in manufacturing earlier the car we used to get it in 3 months after booking now it is taking around 1 year and the same the case with mobiles as well as your computers and laptops the reason for this is the chip shortage all over the world the chip manufacturing companies have come to an halt due to this pandemic and that's the reason nobody is there to supply the chips to these industries to get rid of this problem india has taken an initiative that is make in india Indian government has announced lot of funds for this particular semiconductor industry 2.3 lakh crores for the semiconductor industry I think you can understand now in future how much importance will be given to VLSI industries and then the graduates with the knowledge of VLSI it is going to be a pivotal one in future do you know recently as part of this initiative the indian government has given lot of initiatives because of that the taiwan based company a very well known ic manufacturing company that is foxconn has signed an mou with vedanta an indian company according to the chairman of vedanta company if this comes into existence the indians are going to get lot of benefits for example earlier the mobile we used to purchase an apple phone for 1.39 lakhs now it may come down to 70000 a computer which you were purchasing for 80000 or 90000 it may come down to half of its cost that is going to be 40000 all these facilities will come into existence when this tie up goes into the existence and the ics manufacturing starts in india we wish for that so this is the a very famous tie up and apart from this even the foxconn company has tied up with tata company also for the manufacturing of iphones so you can see that in various fields we are having the tie up with other companies from the all over world this is definitely going to improve the ic manufacturing capacity of india so that the cost of all the goods is going to come down drastically so india is wishing to become a chip taker to a chip maker till now unfortunately we have been depending on all other countries like taiwan hawaii china korea etc in order to get all the integrated circuits those are called chips but now india is inching ahead step by step such that we can manufacture in our own ics such that the things are going to be very smooth and the all the cost of the goods are going to reduce So India is trying to become a chip taker to a chip maker. We wish that it will happen very soon. Many other companies worldwide are wishing to sign MOU with the Indian companies to manufacture the chips. And in future India is aiming for chip maker to it should want to give chip giver so we want to supply chips to entire world i think 
once you get into that position the economy of the india is going to increase like leaps and bounds and we are going to become a very strong country as we know already because of the existing conditions in software industry we have become a software hub in the similar fashion whatever initiatives we are taking in the manufacturing of semiconductor in the semiconductors if it goes to the reality we are going to become soon a hardware hub i think once it becomes hardware hub all the electronics and communication engineers will have lot of job opportunities no doubt about it we know very well if you want to manufacture these ics which are required in all this um, automobiles and computers we require the vlsi concept very large scale integration as i told this is the trending field of electronics very large scale integration you can see if you want to manufacture this type of ic whatever i am showing here this is called integrated circuit if you want to manufacture we require the knowledge of vlsi fine then what is vlsi one more time i tell you in the day to day activities of any person this vlsi is going to play a important role without his knowledge you want to watch a computer you want to watch a tv you want to use a mobile you want to use a automobile in everything its integrated circuit is part of it and that integrated circuit is manufactured using vlsi so if you do not have vlsi engineer then all these things are going to stop forever you can see that any electronic device will have at least one chip inside okay right then the question is now who can become a vlsi engineer a graduate with btech in ece can take up a post in the semiconductor industry because if you want to be absorbed in the semiconductor industry you need to have the knowledge of the basic knowledge of of course vlsi and that will be given in electronics and communication engineering branch so if you join btech in ece you are very much suitable for the vlsi uh, engineer engineer post i am very sure in future lot of opportunities are going to come in this field if if you look at the government initiatives i think the number of posts are going to increase tremendously then you may ask me sir what are the job opportunities in vlsi there are plenty of domains in the vlsi i just show you here the design engineer verification engineer cad engineer application engineer marketing and sales engineer so for the success of one chip you require the help of all these engineers i just highlight how much salaries each of this engineer is getting approximately as well what is the responsibility of each engineer if you take a design engineer at the looking at the name you can understand he is going to implement the design and he is going to test the design okay so he will design the entire system here then this particular design engineer he requires at all the stages it's not going to be one so it is required at front end he is also required at back end he is also required at other stages also you can see here in the front end we require this design engineer who is called as asic or fpga engineer he requires in back end he is required in analog mixed signal design engineer okay so for testing also we require this design engineer like that one the number of posts will be many because the ic manufacturing has to go through all these fields if you look at the average salary of this person he is going to get minimum 12 lakhs to 20 lakhs so it's a very good amount if you learn this vlsi design we are going to get this much of salary going to the next one it is called verification engineer look at the name itself he is going to verify whatever design is made earlier so that is called verification engineer so he is going to play a crucial part and for verification he is supposed to have the knowledge of coding as well as scripting i think it's very simple one it will be taught in btech so if you have the knowledge of coding and scripting the verification of the design can be done easily fine 
how much salary you will get it on average the minimum is 5 lakhs and maximum goes to 22 lakhs it is going to be performance based one if you perform well obviously we can expect more salary the cad engineer so this engineer is going to be important for integrating the eda tools so there are some tools required for chip manufacturing and this particular engineer is going to integrate all these eda tools fine how much salary we can expect for this cad engineer is minimum is 16 lakhs and maximum 24 lakhs so again it is going to be performance based one so this is one of the important stage of any particular vlsa manufacturing okay right then is going to be application engineer so he is going to be interface between the r&d as well as customer okay so he is going to tell what are the customer needs and he is also going to tell what is the technology required for r&d engineer so he must have complete vision about the future okay that is the duty of them fine we can expect a salary of 18 lakhs for this application engineer right and last but not the least marketing and sales see you know very well once you develop the product chip manufacturing chip manufactured if you don't market it then it's not going to be a success so marketing is going to see that the brand is promoted all over the world and the duty of the sales engineer is he will convert the potential customer into a actual customer that is the duty of this and depending on the performance he will get the salary 4.5 lakhs to 8 lakhs per annum so these are the opportunities we are having it in vlsa domain in fact lot of companies are coming into this field latest these companies intel qualcomm broadcom samsung they are already into the vlsa field so they are actively uh, uh, doing the research in the field of semiconductors apart from this some public sectors and government organizations also involved in the semiconductor industry drdo bharat electronics limited c dot bsnl ecil all of them are already they have put their step into this field of semiconductors so soon we can expect more number of jobs from this government organizations okay right and even the pure software companies are also now putting their step into this vlsi field so so far wipro infosys hcl uh, synopsis design all these things are in normal software application field but now they are entering into the semiconductor domain so you can see that so many companies are focusing on this trending field vlsi so we can anticipate more opportunities in the coming years so finally looking at all these opportunities we can say build your career in vlsi and in order to do that we have to join the ece thank you and i wish you best of luck